Hello once again my fellow slackers this is Claxton and uh, we're going to continue a little tutorial worlds all right and this was our first day it should be night time yeah it's night time um, I'm going to turn the sound down a little bit on that sorry there we go that's better all right um let's see I wanted to try to to kind of go over uh, building above ground and below ground uh, places to live so I'm gonna go over that real quick uh, what do we have here any so we got iron ore we'll put that in this one get some iron going there I'm gonna try to get some more iron you want to try to get five iron as fast as you can okay and it's usually pretty simple to find iron and if you start just digging down toward the bottom of the earth you usually just run into it and that's the easiest thing to do uh... i may skip over this part just to, i mean basically just dig dig around until you find five iron uh... rules there are rules to playing minecraft that you need to keep in mind uh... the rule one absolute most important rule in the entire game of minecraft never dig straight down because if there's a 50 foot drop below this one square you're going to die alright so that's rule one never dig straight down uh, rule two I will tell you since I remember what rule two is <laughs> rule two there is no rule number two alright we're back um, I've just dug pretty much just down at an angle um, you can hear there's lava somewhere close by and a bat so that means there's a cave somewhere close by where we're at um, if you find we found some iron here and so I'm gonna dig this out but if you're close to if you hear the lava uh, somewhere close by where you find you know any resource you're trying to get especially diamonds or emeralds they are really popular around heavily lava-lated areas <laughs> lava-lated um, what you'll do is find your resource okay and dig all around it first before you dig it out that way if there's lava directly under let's say these two squares as soon as I break this it's gonna fall directly in lava and be useless but if you dig below it and around it first you can see that there's no oh, poor bat fell in lava so you can see that there's no lava under this Okay, so this is, these are safe to get, dig out and get your resources now. Especially use this technique if you're trying to dig out diamonds because they will fall directly in the lava and you'll lose them and that sucks. And if you look in inventory, and by the way, you can, you can change your inventory uh, button by going to uh, options, go to controls, and you can change it all in here. Like my inventory is set to X because your your fingers sit on the you know ASWD you know buttons to move around, and you have to hunt for the I button, which I think is what they originally have it on the inventory. Anyway, I always put on the X button that way, you just you know reach down and it's already there. Uh, but you can change your commands and right here if you don't know that. Anywho, uh, what I was gonna say, I've got eight iron ingots now two things three things really but two things that I really want to get at the very beginning of the game as fast as I can is shears you just do that by placing the iron like this he's in agreement yep yep that's right mm -hmm. and then you have to have to make the other things you have to have the crafting table uh, the one thing that I think is the most important thing in the game honestly is a bucket specifically a water bucket and I will show you why I think that later. But I'm also going to build me an iron sword. So I'll have that in case we run into any nasties. Like I think we were fixing to because I hear the bats, which means there's a cave close by. Okay. Um, but yeah, we came down from up there. So I'm going to build that back up. And I'm also going to take this because I, those are invaluable. Especially when you get down here, you don't have any wood to build anymore. Always take your crafting tables with you. You can leave behind the ovens, that's fine, because you can always build more ovens. You're going to have lots and lots of cobblestone to build ovens out of. Wee. Okay. 
Um, digging down. And I'm sorry to say um so much, but that's just force of habit. Anywho, digging down. What you'll want to do, it, it, the easiest thing to do is when you're digging, like say I've, I've dug down here and I'm continuing to dig, if you aim your arrow, like the crosshairs, right above, like here's the block right below you, right above that and just start digging, it digs three squares with no problem. Okay? And then you just walk forward. You don't even have to move the mouse up or down at all. Right there. And just move forward. But you want to be very careful that when you dig this you don't just automatically push forward while you're digging because if you do this and dig that one that one and there's lava right there you're just going to walk right into it okay so make sure you dig out and then make sure there's nothing that you're going to fall into and die all right so that's that i'm going to dig down to the bottom here i want to show you uh, a few things about how mine and then uh, we're going to go back up top, top and talk about what type of houses you can build all right we have got to the bottom of the world here. Um, there's our, what do you call that, uh, bedrock that we know we can't dig through no matter what you dig with or try. Uh, this is the bottom. So, when you get, when you find this, the very first thing you're going to want to do is just clear out a little space, just a little room to stay in. That you can build in your, uh, you know, you can put a crafting table and a oven and a uh, chest to put all your stuff in so that's the very first thing you want to do when you get down here and we'll build a oven real quick and I did find some more iron ore on the way down so we'll build that put that in there okay and let's see We'll let that cook up. I want to get two more because I'm going to build uh, an iron pickaxe. Just in case we run into any diamond while we're mining down here. And let's just do that to finish that off. Okay. Iron pickaxe. There we go. Let's put that with those three. Okay. So, get an iron sword, bucket, shears, and iron pickaxe. Alright, so that's all the iron stuff we need to start off with. Of course, we do want a suit of iron as soon as we can get one. Uh, that's, you know, you can make leather suits, things like that, but nothing's as good as iron when you're first starting the game. And it's easy to find, you'll get lots of it eventually, and so make a suit of iron as soon as you can. Now, uh, how much is this we got? Four, we're good, we're just going to leave that burning. Okay, next is, you can still hear the lava, it's around here somewhere. I'm sure we'll find it. Uh, next, you're going to want to start digging and mining for materials, like diamonds and iron and whatever else you can. The, there is a way to do that that is that you maximize your chance of actually finding something, and that is to basically make a big U-shape. All right, guys, we're back. And I've dug out a U-shape. Try to dig this way, but you see what we ran into. All right, but here's where we came down. Uh, here's a little room we made that we put all our stuff in. And here's the original tunnel I dug. And what you'll do is you'll dig out, you know, as far, pretty much as far as you want to. And then turn either direction and dig that way. And, you know, I found some room, so I'm not going to go further, but I just wanted to show you this as a, as a instruction. So from your original spot that way, you dig your tunnel, and then you turn one direction or the other, doesn't matter which way and dig out a little more okay and you'll dig out as far as you want and then you come back to your original room and dig the same direction from the original room as you dug when you got to the end of this hallway so like I came here dug that way and turn right so I come down here turn right and dig this out so now if you trace this I have a big U you know it's, it goes basically around and then you turn right and goes that way and turn right go that way so you have almost like a circle that you can uh, follow all right but the reason you do this uh, to find the everything that's down here you'll find a lot of diamonds doing this uh, this way so you start from here your original hallway and you go down one of the U tracks doesn't matter which one you go down but you count one two three 
One, two, three. There's the original hallway. One, two, three. And you start digging on the third one. And what you will eventually do is run into the other side. I know this isn't that exciting. And there you go. Okay, so here's the original hallway, the part that we dug first, went back, and now we've dug all the way down here. So when you get to the opposite side, you just keep continuing this way. You go one, two, three, and start digging back the other direction. Alright, so we have lava that we're running into. And this is going to happen sometimes. Really not that big of a deal. Hey. I'll take it. You'll find a lot of resources just like that, doing this. Alright, but the reason you'll do it this way is if you notice, main hallway, you see every brick on this side of the hallway and the ceiling, okay? Then when you go three down and go to the hallway, you'll see every brick on this side and every brick on this side. So you know exactly what's down this hallway, which is this row of bricks or bricks blocks, and what's down this hallway, which is this row of blocks. So you've seen both sides. So there's no way you can miss any resources that are in this area of blocks here, okay? Continue like that. And you will find every resource that is in this level. And there is a way you can go up top and dig that out, but I'll go over that later. Uh, but I just kind of want to show you this. This is how you'll start digging for your, for your materials. Okay. And then I'll go over the second story of this later on. I want to finish this video, though, by showing you what you need to do with uh, your your first house. And there's a couple of different ways you can make a house. Uh you can dig down and just make your house at the base down there where you're going to be doing your mining and that's not a bad plan i always like to make my houses on tops of like the jungle trees or uh, at the very first level of you know when you first dig in dig down here is it nighttime again it is and i'm going to die because i can't eat nothing I hear Enderman. Let's go find some zombies and kill them real quick for their meats. Alright, we've come up to the top and we're starving to death. I've killed some zombies. You can eat zombie flesh. It will fill your tummy, but it poisons you. But it's better to be poisoned and have your life go or health go back up than not at all. Uh, what happens when you're poisoned is you... It doesn't last as long uh, when you eat zombie flesh than it does if you eat, like, steak or something. Uh, and being poisoned makes your health go back down faster. However, if you can find a cow and you has a bucket, which we has a bucket. I just want to show this to you. You can go get milk from the cow. And again, a lot of you probably already know this. If you drink the milk... You won't be poisoned anymore, which I lost poison before the cow, but let me do that. Yep, poison. And there you go, not poison anymore. Also works with spider poison. Just so you know, when you get down in the caves and cave spiders bite you, they poison you. <laughs> There's a natural cross water in the water, that's awesome. Is that you making all that noise? It sounds like a slime somewhere. Okay. Meat. Awesome. Like meat. Okay, so we're up here. <laughs> Shut up. Alright. So there's two things you can do. Actually, a few different things. If you want to build your house on top of a tree, that gives you a great advantage to see where monsters are. And, it's you know, trees are already there. So it's easy to climb on top of trees and... Horse, hey! 
easy to climb on top of trees and start building your house. I'm gonna go get some water. All right, I got some water. And I'll show you one other thing while I've got this water before we start building the house, okay? If you want an endless water source, build four blocks or dig out four blocks like this, dump one water bucket in this corner, one water bucket in the opposite corner, and you have infinite water forever. And there you go. All right, and I'll go over water buckets later, but they have all kinds of different uses. Alrighty, so we got desert area. Lake area is really good to build into. All right, I'll show you why I like the lake so much. Because first of all, it is hard for monsters to follow you into the lake. All right. If you don't know about this trick right here, if you hold down shift, you can't fall off a block. No matter how much you try. Now, if you jump, you can, so don't do that. But you hold down shift, go backwards, aim your crosshairs at this side of the block, and right click. Just hold it down. And you're going to hold down shift and back up at the same time. And what that does is it builds just a little bridge for you. Okay? And then I'm going to build this house just over the top of the water in the middle of the lake. And build it up some so I can see what's going on around me. Okay, nice little view right here. I got some horses and stuff over there. So this we're going to build one house. And the way you do that, of course, shift so you don't fall off. And you can build a floor for your house. Now, if you want to be able to see through your house, like at all angles, build your house out of glass. And it's as simple as digging some stone up, or digging some sand up, rather, uh, cooking it in an oven, and it makes glass. And you can make your entire house out of glass. Okay, but building a house up here, that's just your groundwork, and then, of course, you make whatever walls you want to make. Uh, you don't really have to have a door if you don't want a door. And there you go. But it allows you to see everything around you. You don't have to worry about monsters coming up here, and if you light it up real good, you don't have to worry about them spawning up here either. Big mistake a lot of people make if they'll they'll make their house real big, right? Like here, they don't put any lights on the on the roof, and then monsters form on the roof, and they'll you know come down and blow your house up or something. So make sure you cover that. But if you got your house made up here, and this is just gonna be a simple platform, I'm not gonna build a whole house, but you can take your water bucket. Dump it off the side here. You now have an elevator that you can get down it up in your house with. And if you build it over the water, you just jump off into the water and you're good. Okay, and then of course to get to the top, you just hold down shift. And climb all the way to the top where your house is. There you go. Alright, so that's a house over water. Next is the, the simple house. Like if you have to make a makeshift house real quick, the simplest house you can make is this one. Let me show you. Get some wood planks. Okay. So like day one or something if you need a house real quick. Put your little crafting table there. oven right there on top. You can still craft by right clicking on the crafting table. And you build out like this. Alright, and then you have a little place to hide. Okay, this is one of the simplest houses you can make in the game. Okay. But it's really all you have to have. 
You just come in here, put a door there, and, and you're done. And that's the simple house. Okay. Um, and that's real good, like, if, you, if you're in a hurry to... It's nighttime on your first night or something, especially if you're in the hardcore mode. Throw up a little house like this and then hide there for the night. Okay. Alright, so that's house number two. House number three. It's just like that the house I have here. You just dig into the side of a mountain and you just make yourself a little home. Put your bed right there. Now, any place you put your bed, make sure you have it three blocks high. And don't put your bed up against the wall, like right here, because you can wake up inside the wall and you'll suffocate to death. So you'll put it like right here and make sure it's surrounded on all sides by nothing. And three blocks high, that way when you wake up in the morning, no matter which way the bed throws you, you won't suffocate inside the wall. And that's it. Uh, for this tutorial, I just want to make, show you guys how to how I do my mining uh, day two, and how to build a couple of different houses. And I hope you enjoy it. I will be back next time to sh to do a little bit more on mining and then hunting and uh, building tools. So leave a comment about what you want to see in the videos in the future, and uh, just let me know what you think. To all my slackers, thanks for being slackers. This is Clacton. See you next time.